of Jungle Jim. The Adventures of Jungle Jim broadcast weekly over this station are dramatized from the full-color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement that comes to you each week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Join the 11 million adults and the 6 million youngsters who enjoy the world's best artists featured in every issue of the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. <laughs> Jim, Lil, and Colo are together again in Panama, but not for long. Just long enough for Jim to settle up a few affairs and take on the full responsibilities of his new job, that of captain in the United States Army. Colo has gone on an errand to the tailor shop, where one of the workmen ran amok last week, and after killing two men in the shop, made for Jim, who laid him out with a flat iron. Jim and Lil are at lunch and plan to spend their last few hours together, as this is one assignment in which Lil can't possibly have any part. Well, Jim, I mean, Captain Bradley. Now, Lil, cut it out. You don't have to call me that, and you know it. Suppose I like it that way, Captain. Lil. Jim, maybe I'm proud you're a captain. You've heard of the influence of uniforms on the feminine heart, no doubt. Yes, but I thought it was only a sailor's uniform that really dazzled them. You know, a girl in every port. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me giggle. You don't mean you, Jim. I've been trying to throw just one girl at you for so long, I'm beginning to get tired of it. Now, you know I meant sailor. Now, don't change the subject. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't you think a woman has any pride? Does a woman have to be a, a modern Diana to dent your hide? <laughs> no, Lil, you don't. I've been meaning to discuss some very serious things with you for a long time. Oh, Jim. Uh, well, you mean that you... Oh, here, boy. Uh, Captain Bradley? Uh, yes. Telephone call for you, sir. Uh, I'll take it. Where? Either for you, sir. Uh, excuse me, Lil. Uh, I'll be right back. Follow me, sir. What a guy. Saved by the bell. Boy. Hello? Juan Jim. Yes, what is it, Colo? Did you get my uniforms? Juan Jim. That fellow who go crazy, he not be crazy. He hear your name, want to kill you. Only you. Hey, wait a minute. Take it easy, Colo. I don't get it. You listen, Juan. No much time to talk. I go to jail this morning. I know guard. He put me in cell next to that fellow. I make friend. He talk. He not Chinese. He Japanese. Give me note for his friend. His friend Japanese, too. Be spy. Very big spy. Oh, now you're making sense. Have you delivered the note? No. I go now. Can meet you at hotel in few minutes. You ready, Tuan? Step on it, Colo. I'll be waiting. Bill, come on. We've got something to do. Well, Jim, we've just ordered lunch. You were going to discuss something serious with me. Lil, we've got no time for anything right now. What? I'll tell you about it on the way out. Come on. If you don't have a good story, Jim, you can go alone. I'm through with you. Don't try to pick a quarrel, Lil. Well, I... That was Colo on the phone, and... Well, and what? Oh, wait a minute. I won't wait, and I won't budge a step till you tell me what it's all about. Colo's found a nest of Jap spies. Uh-oh. Come on. What are we waiting for? Colo, he'll be along in a minute. How do you find them? Just by chance. And as usual, using his beam. You know the native who ran amok in the tailor shop? Yeah. Well, he's in jail. Colo had himself put in the next cell. Suspecting his true nationality, he wormed his way into the fellow's confidence, got him to talk, and is taking a note to whoever is the higher up. Then he called me. So here we are. Jim, we'll have one more fling together, just the three of us, before you leave. Seems like old times again. Now, where is that Colo? Oh, don't worry. He'll be along. He's never failed yet. Um, let's wait outside. Juan Jim, there he is. Come on, Lil, get in. Yeah. You go to address. I gave you driver. Si, senor. Well, Colo, what have we got this time? Is it the McCoy? Missy Lil, Colo think we got two McCoy. Oh. Say, wait a minute. I wonder if this journey is strictly according to regulations. I'm not a free agent any longer. I can't go off even hunting spies just as private citizen Jim Bradley. Maybe not regulation, Tuan Jim. But suppose they get away. Do regulation tell you where they go? 
To put fire out even with stolen water is good deed. Oh, come on, Jim. Don't spoil what may prove to be our last jamboree with some silly old regulations. And you didn't have time to study him yet anyway. Besides, you haven't got a uniform on now. Oh, I don't care for myself, but if anything goes wrong, it'll bring discredit to Colonel Barrett. And if you bring in a couple of nice little brown spies all trussed up, he'll love it, won't he? Maybe you're right, Lil. Sure. All right, Colo, we'll go. We are going, Tuan Jim. Is it far? Hey, what's the layout, anyway? You got a gun, Jim? Colo have for everybody a gun. Oh. Good boy, Colo. Thinking of everything as usual. But what's the plan? If it please, Tuan, Colo go to door, deliver note. It tell them to trust me, that I find way for them to escape. They have much information. A few minutes after they let Colo in, you come to door with Lil looking for someone. You knock or ring bell. I let you in. That's all. Boy, what confidence. You're just the Marines, that's all, Jim. Or should I call you Major after the coup d'etat, Captain? Uh, you'd better call me Jim, and that's final. <laughs> we do not have far to go now, Twan. We better not be seen together in any case. No, we leave cab at this street. Driver, you stop on corner. Wait. Si, senor. There'll be house around corner. Let me go ahead one minute, then you follow. House number 60. Go to top floor, no elevator. Go ahead, Colo. We'll be right after you. there? Have letter from Tawara. I be big friend. Give a letter, please. You wait. Come in, please. You tell me, when was Tawara arrested? Yesterday. He gave me note this morning, say for you to come with me. I know way out of Canal Zone to Secret Field in Panama. Kitagawa? Yes. Come at once. Yes. Who is our visitor? This is Kolo. Tawara sent him with note. We're pleased to meet the Honorable Koyo. How do you do? We must leave at once. Tawara arrested. He say we can't trust Kolo. Quiet. Hey, Charlie, open up. It's me. Ah, oh, come on, Charlie. What do I have to do? Break this door in? Come on. Wait. I go shoot him, whoever he is. No, that bring police. We are all lost. You go away. I open door. He is only drunken American. I sent him away. He's right, Takavashi. Come. Just one moment, please. Who you want, please? Charlie, Charlie Wilson, is he home? He not live here. He be next house. Oh, oh excuse me, uh, very sorry, all right? Yes, everything be all right. He go away? Yes, come on out. Wait, it's uh, could be uh, smart. Yes, Takabashi? Come on, yes. stick up all those filthy hands. Oh, reach, reach. Oh, reach. Hey, 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 now, hey, 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 walk over here to this wall. Oh, you want to try some tricks, eh? Well, how do you like this? Oh, you want to play now. Or do I have to show you, too? You are strong and wise. All right. Tie him up, Colo. I'll look at this one on the floor. Hmm. One gun on this fellow and a one slight scalp abrasion. Practically no damage at all. Hand me that rope, Lil. Here it is, Jim. I think we're doing all right today. Yes, I guess either of us would swap lunch for two spies. <laughs> now, let's see what evidence we can pick up. Holy mackerel, Jim. Suppose we couldn't find anything on him. Ah, <laughs> not a chance. You go through the desk, Lil, and I'll take the other room. Colo. Mm, they be all right now, Twan. Well, one wiggle out of either of them is the signal to start shooting. Not for fun either, Colo. For keeps. Yes, Tuan. Now, oh. Oh, <laughs> Jim, look. If these aren't code books, I'm the Empress of China. Your feet are too big. They're code books. Well, thanks. Wow. 
What's up, Cole? That one wiggle too much. Uh, uh, now see, he have lost small piece of ear. Uh, nice going, Colo. What happens if he moves again? Colo be afraid he lose his eye. Mm, that'd be too bad. Then oh. again, would it? He must make up his own mind. <laughs> How you doing, Lil? Oh, we've got enough stuff to hang both these guys twice over. Uh, I think once will be enough. Look, Lil. Two cameras, three binoculars, uh. hand grenades. No end of pictures. Mm -hmm. All of beautiful scenery with military installations in every one of them. Yeah, and look at these. Ceremonial short swords. Yeah, those were Harry Curie. Yeah. And we'll see that the boys never get a chance to use them. I think our firing squad is just as effective and not so desirable. Those who live by breaking the law must die by observing the same. Nicely put, Colo. Uh, suppose you call the military police, Lil, so we can turn these precious bundles over to them and... Then go back to finish our lunch. And our conversation. Colo's sharp wits were responsible for unearthing the slender trail that led to the most efficient spy nest in the canal zone. Well, Captain Bradley, you ought to be congratulated. Hardly in the service for a day, and you turn up with a prize G2 as known of but couldn't locate for the past month. Well, it was more or less a fortunate accident, Colonel. Maybe fortunate, but not an accident, Jim. Accidents are usually bad. This was 100% good. Did I tell you they both admitted to being reserve army officers? No. Well, what'll happen to them, Colonel? First to trial. They're certainly guilty. Then conviction and sentence. This is wartime, Jim. Well, whatever they get, I suppose they, I suppose they expected. They'll get their just desserts. You may depend on that. Uh, well... Your orders are in, Captain. Swell, Colonel. Where and when? Well, first you'll fly west to board the transport Argonne. Then, when you're at sea, you may open your sealed orders. Colonel Barrett, I'll never be able to thank you enough for all your help. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, Jim. Good luck. Your country needs men like you as never before. <laughs> Go ahead, Colo. You go aboard. I'll wait a few moments to say goodbye to Lil. She'll be along any minute now. Jim! Hello, little old gal. Say, isn't this some plane we're leaving in? Colo and myself are traveling in style. Ah, oh, stop trying to put me at ease. It can't be done. You two are going away, and this time I won't be able to find out anything about either of you. I'm worried. Oh, that's silly, Lil. There's no room in this job for any woman. All right, I know it. But where are you bound for? Well, that even I won't know, Lil, till we're 12 hours out. Sealed orders. Well, goodbye, Jim. I suppose there's nothing else to say, so let's get it over with. So long, pal. There is something else to say. At this moment, Lil, I... I could say I love you and me. Oh. But until I'm sure for all time, I'll never say it. Goodbye, Lil. Oh. Oh, Jim. My Jim. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't miss the next exciting episode of The Adventures of Jungle Jim. Remember, you can follow these adventures in the full-color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement containing the best full-color adventure and comic pictures. Remember, no other comic supplement can give you the top names of cartoon land like the all-star favorites to be found in the Comic Weekly. The whole family follows the fun and frolics of Jiggs and Maggie, the Little King, the immortal Donald Duck, as well as the exciting adventures of Jungle Jim and Flash Gordon. Join the 11 million adults and the 6 million youngsters who every week find the greatest of home entertainment in the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. <laughs>